the first thing you will do in this kind of stuff is that we are going to look for the LC. You don't just look for the LC. We first of all look at the denominator. Is it the same number? Or the numbers are different? The same number. Are they the same thing? So if they are the same thing, the LCM is going to be one of those numbers. Do you get it? Yes. So normal thing we are supposed to do is to look for the LCM of this number and this number. But since they are both the same number, we just assume either of them to be the LCM. Is that taking? Yes, so to solve it, we're not going to say that it is equal to we now draw a long division line like this. Mm -hmm. Do you get it? Yes. So what is the LCM? Thirteen. Thirteen. So that LCM will become our denominator in this new division line we have. I hope this is clear. Are you sure? Yes. Sir. So then after this, then the next thing is you ask yourself some questions. What are those questions? The question is this How many 13 can I get in 13? You listen, yeah. whatever result it gives you, you use it to multiply this numerator. Do you understand? Yes. Remember the question once again the denominator of this first fraction, how many of it can we get in our SCM? One, Abby? Yes. The result it gives you, you use it to multiply the numerator of the first one. Do you understand? So, yes. we are not going to say 13, 13, and 1. 1 times 4, 4. Am I communicating? Yes. What's that? Plus. <laughs> can I go ahead? Yes, sir. Now, what is the answer? I'm um, sorry, the number here, the denominator here, yes. how many of this number can we get in? 1. So, how many 13 can we get in this 13? 1. one. So, 1 times 5. We have what? That gives what? Four. Five, right? Yes. Then the rest is we now add. So when you do it this way, then that is when addition is possible. Do you get it? Yes. And when you are only going to add is what? The numerator. So. so what is four plus nine? Nine. Four plus five, sorry. Nine. 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 So that is nine yeah, over thirteen. 13. <laughs> now before you report this thing as your final answer. You yes. must ensure there is no common number between this and this. What I mean by common number is that this number must be in the simplest form. That is, it must be in such a form that it is not possible for this one to call this or for this one to call this. So if it satisfies that condition, then that shows we have what reached the final answer. It is very necessary you know this thing. So if you don't know it, there will be a problem in future class in mathematics. Can I go ahead? Yeah. Now, number what? Two. two. Now, we have three over what? Eight. Three over plus eight. Three over, plus three three over, over four. four. Now, then the next thing is go and look at the denominators mm -hmm. we have. In. What's our denominator here? Eight. What's our denominator here? Mm -hmm. Four. Are they the same thing? No. Mm -hmm. Remember, like this person, because the denominator are the same thing. We just pick one to be the LCM. In that case, there is no need for us to find the LCM. No point looking for what? For the LCM. But in this case, the denominator is different. It is necessary for us to do what? To determine the LCM. Are you with me? So doing that means we can come to one corner of our book and write it for. Remember, we are looking for the LCM. And what we do in LCM is we cut this number until this one becomes 1 and this one becomes 1, Abby. Yes. And those numbers we used to call them, we multiply them together. Whatever value it gives is the LCM of these two numbers. Can I continue? Now, we can start with the smallest number. We can use to divide, which is what? 2. So, two, how many 2 can I get in 8? How many 2 can I get in 4? So 2 can still work, Abby. Yes. yes. 2 in 4. Two. 2 in 2. 1. So we use 2 finally. 1. one, one. one. Right? Yes. So remember our aim is to ensure this number becomes Six. 1. And this number becomes two. 1. Yes, what we now do is these 3 numbers, Abby, yes. that we use in reducing these 2 numbers to 1, will be used to multiply each other. Yes. 
I will multiply them together. That, is eight. that becomes two times, times two times two. Two times two. Two, 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 times, two. Eight. two times two. Four. Okay. Times two. Eight. So the result there is eight. Not six. It is not six. It is eight. Can I continue? Positively. So we now positively yeah. again. <laughs> I'm not sure you know what you are saying. We are now going to draw that two division line, Abby. Yeah. So what is our SCM? Eight. We put eight there. Can I go ahead? Yeah. For me to be able to continue with this thing, what I will do is what? I will ask myself some questions, Abby. Then the first question is, I will pick the first denominator. Right? Yes. How many eights can I get in eight? One. What will happen to that one? one to one multiply times. this That will be three. That will be three. Plus. Plus. What is the second denominator? Two. Four. Four. How many four can I get in eight? Two. What will happen to that two? Times three. Two times three. Two times three gives us six. So that nine. is that becomes what three plus six. Nine, nine over nine, nine, eight. Nine, nine, nine. Is this our final answer? No. No, this can't be our final answer. Reason, uh, reason being that what numerator is higher than okay, denominator. Nine. So then we are going to divide it. And that is this answer is going to be reduced to a means fraction form, right? Now, how many eights can I get in nine? How many eights can nine. you get in one? In nine. In nine, rather. Why? It is one, Abby. Now, remaining what? The remainder will convert it to numerator over eight. So, our answer here is what? One, one, one over one over eight. eight. I hope this is clear. Yeah. Now, no. After this one, we shall be given class work. I have plenty work for you. So, you need not to wash yourself. Hmm? Now, let's quickly do number three to get that. Now, the RCM, okay, the number we have there is 1 over 12 plus 1 over 3. We say it's equal to, you know, it's necessary we look for the RCM. Yes. Now, what is the RCM of 12 and 3? So, it is possible you know it. And in case you don't know it offhand, it is not a sin. It is not a problem. Go and work it out. Do you understand? So the two numbers we have are 12 and 3. So I will write 12, I will write 3 like this. Right? Yes. Now what can we use to divide? 2 is possible. Mm -hmm. 2 in 12 here is what? 6. six. 2 in 3. For the number, we want to divide this number without leaving a remainder. Once it's going to leave a remainder, don't divide it. Plus so you rather two. write it, you repeat the number, the way it is. Eh? Yes. So 2 in 3. It is one. Three. We need to have a remainder of one. Yeah, because of that remainder, we are not going to divide three. We leave it as three. Do you get it? Yes. But you know two can still call the six. Yes. So we continue using two until the two will not be able to work again. So it's after that we now move ahead of the three. Six, three. Uh, and we used to two and six, three. three. So we we'll reduce to call this one. one. We, don't want to we now use three. Three, 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 one. three, one. three one. What is our S C M here? That is two times two, two times three. three. That is twelve. Okay, that is what twelve. S C M is twelve, so it means our S C M here is what twelve. Twelve. Can I go ahead? Okay. Now, the question. Remember the question I asked you to always yes. ask yourself that. You pick this denominator. How many of this number can I get here? How many twelve can you get in twelve? One. 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 What will happen to that one? This is to times multiply the numerator here. Yeah, okay? Times one will give you what? One. I hope this is clear. Yes. yes. Then plus. How many three can we get in twelve? Four. 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 What will happen to the four? Four times one. To four. multiply this one, I'll be making what? Four. four. Now we now add the numerator. Five. What is one plus four? That is five over four. twelve. So we know we're going to call this our final answer. Number one. Numerator is smaller compared to the denominator, right? Yes. Number two uh, is that there is nothing common to both the numerator and the denominator.